which I've set up, which I'm asking people to uh, to log on to and leave me messages of uh, of support. And the address for that is www.myspace.com forward slash Save Olympic Studios. Andy, lovely to talk to you, mate. Thanks very much, Robert. There you go. That was Andy Scott, who's campaigning to save the Olympic Sound Studios down in Barnes, which is one of the great homes of rock and roll, and where this was recorded. <laughs>
and it, you're right, it was it was smelly and it was rock and roll to the nth degree and it was fantastic. And it was where on Saturday morning, Spano Bally, who weren't called that then, um, put on their first ever concert. They were called The Gentry, which was a terrible name. And I told them so. <laughs> and, uh, and so they changed it that afternoon. And that was where their first concert was. Now, I'm fairly certain, in fact, I'm extremely fairly certain, that Halligan's recording studio, which it all, rehearsal rooms, I mean, I don't know, they never recorded that, I think, they just rehearsed there, was, in a former life, was the Black Centre, and that's an extraordinary story, and it's one that we've done on the show in Notes and Queries. And it was set up by Michael X, not Malcolm X, but Michael X, who was a kind of British black separatist militant of the 1960s, late early 70s, funded by John Lennon, no less, um, who was the only white bloke that was allowed in there, because it was a kind of black separatist thing. And it was called the Black House, and it was there, and that's why when Halligans took it over, when it, Mike, Mark, Michael X ended up being deported and then finally hanged for murder in, Trin in his native Trinidad, it ended up being taken over by Halligans as a rehearsal studio, and it's why the walls were all still painted black, I believe, or certainly that's how the story goes. So that's Halligans' studio, which was an amazing place, a kind of warren of dark, dingy, dank, and very damp rooms. Full of music. <laughs> 